Hi, and welcome back to Engineering Life. My name is John, and I'm here to share my experience working with Tesla Energy on a V3 solar glass roof that I had installed at my home here in Denver, Colorado. Phase one was completed in two quick days starting December 1st, 2020. I have another video that details that part of the installation. And if you haven't seen that yet, I encourage you to check it out at the link here. As my installation date approached, I was able to get in touch with some of the crew at the local Tesla office. My installation was initially expected to take about three weeks, and that would have put the house under construction from Monday, December 7th through just before Christmas. I got a call from my Tesla project manager on Sunday, the night before work was expected to begin, stating that they had assembled a crew of over 20 to begin tile installation on Monday. Apparently, this is not normal practice. Typically, they've been working in crews of six to eight, which means the jobs take a bit longer to complete. On Monday, the crew started arriving at 7.30 and quickly got to work. They started by installing additional trim and flashing in all sections of the roof. They provided the outline structure in which glass tiles would be installed within. I was lucky that I had been working from home, so I had the opportunity to watch a lot of the work. With 20 plus people on site, it was a little bit chaotic, but there were two project leans on site leading the group. I would typically walk outside a few times throughout the day, and while I didn't get a chance to meet everyone, the few guys that I did talk to were incredibly friendly and polite. On Monday, I went outside to see how the progress was going, and one of the installers took about 30 minutes to give me a rundown on some specifics of the system. He answered any questions that I had and showed me the two different types of glass tiles, the PV ones and the dummy ones, and what they look like up close. You could tell the difference between the two tiles at ground level, but with them on the roof, you shouldn't be able to decipher between the two. I had previously only seen pictures on the internet, so it was nice to be able to inspect one up close. Here's a shot of one of the PV subarrays actually installed on the roof. Even with the drone in the exact right location and with the sun in the correct spot, you can just barely make out the difference. One thing I didn't realize until seeing the tiles in person is that they actually have textures to them. And this assists in flowing water off of the roof in the proper direction. The glass itself is bonded to a type of plastic uh, which flexes under load. And this allows the uh, tiles to achieve their two inch hail rating as well as allows them to be walked on without any damage. Each tile has mounts at the top here uh, that clip into cleats which are mounted to the roof surface as well as one or more mid panel supports that you can see here, uh, depending on the panel size. The PV tiles are organized into subarray groups throughout the roof in such a way to balance the amount of power that flows through the inverters in the system. After installation of the core PV tiles, which only come in one size, they fill in the dummy glass tiles around that to the edge of the roof section. The dummy glass tiles come in different lengths to be able to customize the fit to each roof. After that, the triangular aluminum edge pieces are sized and bent on site from stock material with texture that matches the glass. There's also black flashing that's installed in the valleys of the roof, which acts to bridge the different facets. After all that is finalized, the roof peak caps are fabricated and installed. There is a decent amount of custom work that is required for each roof, which slows down the installation. But version 3 has glass tiles which were much larger than the last version which does reduce the amount of custom edge pieces that need to be worked on site. Throughout the next four days, they made a large amount of progress. The crew worked past sunset each and every day. To minimize any disruptions on the roof, I made early morning drone flights to capture the progress from the day before. All drone shots were captured using the DJI Mavic Mini, which I purchased earlier this fall to be able to document the roof installation. Tuesday, all the solar electrical boxes were installed and the system was tied into the house electricals. They shut off power to the house for about an hour in the afternoon to make the final connections. On Thursday, the final day of glass installation, there were a handful of items that needed to be painted, but because of the cold weather that particular day, they couldn't complete the work. 
The crew finished up 95% of the roof and cleaned up late Thursday, just hours before a snowstorm rolled in. Because of the speed at which the on-site crew finished the roof, the logistics team wasn't able to pick up the packed remnant material until the next Wednesday following additional snow-related weather delays. On Monday, December 21st, 10 days after the glass install had finished up, a crew of five showed up in the morning and worked all day to finish up all the detail work. This included sealing and touching up the finish on all removed siding fasteners, repairing siding damage where ladders had broken some caulking, as well as painting all of the exposed underlayment trim to match the black tile. They even painted the newly installed conduit for all the new electrical added to the side of the house to match the existing wall without me asking. This was the quickest roof installation that Tesla has done in Colorado, and we were excited to be a part of it. While the installation was a bit chaotic, it was wonderful only have them working on the house for five days, seven when you include tear off, rather than the initially planned three weeks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, it'd be helpful if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay in tune with additional updates. I'll be posting a roof review and a full cost breakdown shortly. And remember, analyze your life like an engineer.